tutorials video. I'm going to show you here today a really, really clever fence. Have a look at that fence there. This is with a really um, sharp house here, but also a totally recycled fence. Um, I'll go back a little bit further. You can see how that looks from further back and from the road particularly. It's a bit of a distance back to the road. But uh, have a look at how these are constructed because these are actually pallets. Um, just pallets that have had bricks and everything else on them um, delivered. There's every chance that the bricks probably that this house was built from were delivered on these. All they've done to secure them, they've put in the star pickets, rammed those in, and then screwed them in. You see these screws are down here. And that's holding really, really well. And then between it, there's just a bit of thin Rio. That's the sort of stuff you can grab from a hardware store. But um, just breaking it up like that makes the fence look really, really good. So I'll wander back and um, show you what it looks like from a bit of a distance. But um, up close, it's nice and sturdy. And it really is a bit of a, a feature fence, which has cost them virtually nothing, um, but looks really, really substantial. The view from a little bit back. So maybe it looks a little bit like pallets from further back. I don't know. I've never particularly thought it looked ugly or bad. It actually looks very straight and all the pallets obviously need to be the same um, in order for this to look the part. But I think that's an absolutely stellar job. I, I do apologize for the wind out here around a bit of an open plain. But um, there you go for a stylish front fence that's really, really low cost and just using recycling and basic materials. Um, really hard to beat. Uh, that guy there. They have uh, attached the wires, the um, Rio bar on here. It's just very light from the size of my hand. It's only quite small. They've just used these um, nails. They basically have two nail heads on them, curved over. You can buy them in any hardware store and just nail them in which holds the wire in place. And just three of those down each side and that's rigidly held in place. So that's a very, very fancy. That's what she looks like from the back. Um, you got because it's a pallet, they've got different boards on the back. A little bit more obvious that it's a pallet from the back than what it is from the front, but uh, all in all, she's a good thing. If you want to make a fence like this look good, you do have to take the time to level this so it's level. This is on a slope, so each one goes up a little bit and then it goes down a little bit. So by how consistent you, you make that happen, um, but get them flat, which then of course means that these square bits will fit in square. Um, but the more things you get flat and level is gonna make it look really good and really the part. So get these vertical and get um, these vertical across the top. So you need a spirit level to put something like this in. Level the ground when you set it down and it'll make a dodgy crooked job look fantastic. I mean, have a look over here at these bricks. They've just been laid down, what I'd call higgly piggly, but they just in bricks all over the place, same on the other side. Um, it's about taking the time, if you're laying bricks like this, it's not what this video is about, but you need to dig a little trench, you just chuck some concrete in and then stick it on the top, a bit of mortar, so it holds them all nice and straight. Um, but the reason I'm saying that is because if you take the time to get a line and get your fence straight, like they have here, look at that, it looks sharp. It makes all the difference in the world, just running a string line from one end to the other, so that you get everything lined up and it makes something look wonderful.